AASSSSAS triangle similarity. This is 7.3a. We have three previous videos for chapter 7 and they're in, they're in the geometry playlist if you need them. Okay? So there are several ways to prove certain triangles are similar. And we can use angle angle, that's AA similarity postulate. We can use side side side, that's SSS similarity theorem, and side angle side, SAS similarity theorem. And just as we used side side side, side angle side, angle side angle, hypotenuse leg, and angle angle side to prove triangles congruent, we can use these to prove triangles are similar. And remember that similar doesn't mean congruent. Similarity means same shape, but congruence means same shape and size. So here's our first one. It's the postulate for angle-angle similarity. And it says if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. So triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. And here's using the AA similarity postulate. Let's look at the di diagram first. We can see that these two lines are, are parallel, aren't they? We see the parallel marks. Now, since segment PT is parallel to segment SR, then angle P is congruent to angle R. And angle T is congruent to angle S by alternate interior angles theorem. So if these are parallel, we can look at TS as a transversal, or we could look at PR as a transversal, couldn't we? So therefore, triangle PQT is similar to triangle RQS by AA similarity. In triangle similarity, we identify sides that are proportional rather than congruent. Similarity statements show corresponding parts in the same way as in congruent statements. Here's our first theorem. It's the side-side-side similarity theorem. It says if the three sides of one triangle are proportional to the three corresponding sides of another triangle, then they are similar. So it's very important that you notice that it says corresponding sides. So AB is a 2. DE corresponds to AB. It's a 4. So this is 2 times that. AC is a 2. DF is a 4. They correspond and this is also 2 times that. And BC corresponds to EF, and this 6 is 2 times that 3. So they're proportional. And triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Here's verifying triangle similarity. Now let's look at the diagram. So we have this one figure that has two triangles, triangle PQR and triangle PRS. PQ is a 4 and it corresponds to PR that is a 6. 4 6 simplifies to 2 thirds. QR is a 4 and it corresponds to RS that is a 6 that also simplifies to 2 thirds. And PR, this 6, corresponds to PS, that 9, and that simplifies to 2 thirds. So therefore, triangle PQR is similar to triangle PRS by SSS similarity. Here's our Second theorem, our last one, side angle side similarity. This is SAS. And it says if two sides, so we've got AB and BC, of one triangle are proportional to two sides, DE and EF, of another triangle, and their included angles are congruent, then the triangles are similar. So remember, the included angles are the ones that are between those two sides, okay? So angle B is congruent to angle E, and our conclusion is that triangle ABC is, con is similar to triangle DEF. All right? So here's verifying triangle similarity again. We've got this triangle, JKL, this little one, and then we've got this big one, JMN. And angle J up here is congruent to angle J by the reflexive property of congruence. So what it's saying is this little angle J for this little triangle is congruent to the angle J for the bigger triangle. And JK, this little piece right here is a 2, is corresponding to JM, and 2 plus 4 is a 6, so we've got 2 over 6, that's a 1 third. And JL, this little 3, corresponds to JN, so we have JL over JN, and that's a 3 over a 6 plus 3 is a 9 for the whole length. That's a 1 third. Therefore, triangle JKL is similar to triangle JMN by SAS, side angle side similarity. 
Here's finding lengths in similar triangles. So let's look at the diagram first. We've got parallel lines. We can see that AB is a 36. We can see CB is a 54 and BD is a 54. But we don't know what BE is. So we can explain why triangle ABC is similar to triangle DBE, and then we can find BE. So the first thing we do is prove the triangles are similar. So as shown, AC is parallel to ED, and angle A is congruent to angle D, and angle C is congruent to angle E by the alternate interior angles theorem. So we could look at AD as a transversal or CE as a transversal. Therefore, triangle ABC is similar to triangle DBE by AA angle angle similarity. So now we find BE and AB this 36 corresponds to D, BD or DB so we write it like this and BC this one this 54 corresponds to the BE here that's the corresponding sides are proportional from the theorem we just did okay and we can substitute in the values. AB is a 36 and DB is a 54. BC is a 54, but we don't know what BE is, so we just write BE. Now we can use the cross products property that 36 B times BE is equal to 54 times 54. And 54 times 54 is 54 squared. That's 2,916. We can divide both sides by the 36, and we get that BE is equal to 81. So we found the length. So remember that you can use colored pencils to mark your corresponding pairs if that will help your eyes. And we can use these theorems and postulate as shortcuts to prove triangle similarity, okay? Our next video is proofs with similar triangles and properties of similarity. That'll be 7.3b before we move on to 7.4, okay? So, Hopefully this made sense to you and you're following along, all right? And you're writing down the postulates and theorems in your notes because we need them for our proofs, don't we? Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.